What's up guys? What are your top 10 apps that you cannot live without? Today I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite applications, but I've also invited a friend over, Kevin, some of you know him as the Tech Ninja, Waka, to kind of share his applications with us too. So I'll let Kevin kick things off. So without further ado, let's get started. As Armando just said, I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja. You can find me on my YouTube channel, The Tech Ninja, and also on Android Authority. I'm a device reviewer there. But on my personal channel, I do vlogs. I talk about um, editorial things. I do rants, lifestyle, just a whole haberdashery of just different stuff. So make sure you check that out. Now, when I try to think of five applications that I cannot live without, these are the applications that came to my mind. In no particular order, we will first start off with Linkbubble. Linkbubble is an application that solves a problem with Android. There isn't any real multitasking on the platform. Linkbubble lets you open links in a floating window. If you get the full version, you can have several bubbles open and they all sort of just hang out where you put them. You can move them around and set up default hot corners for sharing or open in a normal browser. It's probably the application I use the most, especially when I'm doing my morning reading. The next application we have is called TapPath. TapPath lets you decide what to do with a link by the way you tap on it. For example, if I'm on Plus, I see a link, I tap it, and it opens up Linkbubble. But if I wanted to open Chrome, I can then double tap it, then it opens Chrome. Or I can even add a triple tap command and allow it to go to the share menu. TapPath keeps me more efficient when using my Android device. Let's see an iPhone do that. My third application is an application I've been using for years. It's the first application I install when flashing a new ROM, T9 App Dialer. It's an application launcher that uses T9 technology to find your app. Okay, okay, okay. I know some of you guys have no idea what T9 is, but before touchscreens, phones, or QWERTY keyboards, there was a prediction text technology out called T9. Well, that is using that technology to allow you to dial into your application. It saves me tons of time. I no longer hunt for applications. I get to the application I want every time. Fourth application, Solid File Explorer. There are hundreds of file explorers out there, but this one's my favorite. I've been using it since beta and I have no reason to look elsewhere. It's a clean file explorer that lets you drag and drop folders and files. You can also browse network stores and it has built-in Chromecast support. It's a killer application that the iPhone does not have. Last but definitely not least, Slice. Slice is a package purchasing tracking software. It goes through your inbox and automatically grabs tracking information and brings in your packages. It helps me manage my stuff that's coming to my house. The interface was recently updated and overall, it's just a great looking application and it does one thing and it does it the best. And that was my top five applications I can't live without. Make sure you check out my YouTube channel. It's linked right down below and back to you Armando. And that is a really nice list you have there, Kevin. Now, like yourself, this is not in any particular order, but I will say my number one app probably has to be Tasker. Matter of fact, if you've seen or are subscribed to my channel, you've seen a lot of videos that I put out on the true potential of Tasker and what it allows you to do with your Android smartphone. Matter of fact, I have a dedicated channel on Tasker. If you guys wanna go ahead and check that out, I'll leave a link down below. My next app on the list is Titanium Backup. It's one of the apps that I must have, especially when I buy a new Android smartphone. It basically allows me to back everything up from my current smartphone, and then if I get a new smartphone, I, I can restore all of my applications, all of my settings, everything that I had on my old smartphone. It's just a very seamless transition. Of course, you need root access to use it, but it is a must-have app. Next on my list is gonna have to be Plex. Now, Plex is something that as a family, we use almost on a daily basis. Plex allows you to watch all of your media, stream it to your television if you're using an Android smartphone and you have a Chromecast, you can go ahead and Chromecast to your television. It's something that, like I said, we use almost on a daily basis. And I've also put out a video on it, so if you wanna learn more about that, I will also leave that link down below. The next app, that I have to say that is a must have for me is Franco Kernel. And without it, I probably would not be using the Nexus 6 as my daily driver. And the reason being is that I get tremendous battery life with Franco Kernel, which allows me to use this as my daily driver because let's face it, we all want a longer lasting battery on our smartphones. 
And last on my list is probably going to be a toss up between exposed framework, but because it doesn't work currently as of filming this, it's not available for Lollipop, which I know and I've heard that it should be out probably in the next week or two, which I'm very excited about. So we'll leave that one out for now, but it's going to have to be Team Viewer. Team Viewer allows me to control all of my PCs through my smartphone so I can connect to them whenever I want. I can connect to them on my Mac. It's a really powerful application, so if I'm away from home and I need to connect to my computer and I need to do something, I can easily connect and have full control. So those are some of my top favorite applications. What are some of your top favorite apps? I want to know, so make sure you leave your favorites down below in the comments. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, go ahead and check out my buddy Kevin. I'm also going to leave all of his information down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll catch you in the next one. Adios.